The Church teaches us that the Devil can appear in many guises, manifest himself in different forms. That day, I learned it is true. How long can you stay this time? A week or two. A month, maybe. Why? I wish you could stay longer. There have been so many wolf attacks lately. The bailiff disappeared one month ago. His family's in despair. They say it must be the wolves. At night, you can hear them howling nearby. You're not afraid, are you? Well, you should be. Do you know what a wolf can do to you? If a dog tries to bite you, you can kick it. But with a wolf... What's that? How can you laugh about this? It's not just the bailiff. Other people are missing as well. You needn't worry. You'll be safe here.
What's the matter? I don't want Teresa to end up with hands like these. Maybe she doesn't have to. I have heard they've invented a new language based on signs. They teach people to talk using their hands. Perhaps in Santa and Dad, Teresa could learn it. By Mayor's decree, I'm instructed to warn you that in view of recent events, you are strongly advised not to venture into the surrounding woods without police permission, and to ensure that you are all inside your homes by sundown. There will be a reward of 10 coins for each male wolf that is captured, and 15 for each pregnant female wolf. Authorized by the Crown Prosecutor, Don Luciano de la Bastida, this day in the year of our Lord, 1851. Why not stay here and help me? Of course. You could uh, wipe those bottles. You like them? Yes. They're beautiful. You should try one on. <laughs> Manuel, this woman wants to dictate a letter for her daughter. I'll get my writing books. Go and look after Teresa. Juliet, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, I love you so much, Romeo. I love you even more, Juliet. No, no, I love you more. No, me. No, me. No, me. I love you more. Oh, Romeo. My Romeo. Why are our families so generous? I want to tell the whole world how much I love you. I love you more, so much I'm going to die of love. I It is not the wolf you should be frightened of. What's going on? It's the bailiff. They found his body. Don't cry. I've got good news. 
We're leaving here. We're going to live in Santander. There are no wolves there. What did you say? <laughs> We'll wait on the wagon. What are you doing here? I'm coming with you. You can't. Why not? I don't want to be left here alone. Don't be ridiculous. You can join us as soon as we find a position for you. And if you don't, how long do you expect me to wait? You can't abandon me. Don't play the child with me. You're a grown woman, and I've seen what you want. What do you mean? You can't tell me what to do. Let me speak to Manuel. Only a whore would want to steal our sister's man. <laughs> now go home. Please. This is a good place to spend the night. Maybe I was too hard on her. Stop worrying. She can take care of herself. Why don't you go and bathe before it gets dark? Now be careful where you put your feet. There are wolf traps all around.
Do you want to see it fly like a butterfly? Let it go. Let it go! I am Luciano de la Bastida, Crown Prosecutor for the Galician Court. It is my duty to request that you assist us in identifying the remains of this young girl. We believe it could be your niece. We haven't found any clothes nor any personal belongings whatsoever. Does your niece have any distinguishing marks on her body, such as a scar? Sorry you had to go through this. I hope you understand that. There's something in her hair. <sighs> Seems to be an earring, sir. No one from around here could afford earrings like these. She must have been from a well to do city family. But we're a long way from the city, sir. And wolves eat where they kill. And don't spread the remains around. We need to find out what happened to these people. Teresa! If this is some kind of joke, it's not funny! by the public prosecutor, this tribunal welcomes the collaboration of Professor Phillips, an expert from the University of Algeria. Professor Phillips. The autopsy report suggests that the violent rape 
took place after the victim's death. And that consequently, the author of the crime is a necrophiliac. The perpetrators of similar crimes display evidence of common pathological defects. The craniums, slightly thicker than normal. Excessive sweating, particularly on the palms of the hands. The physical aspects of this man betray him. We, therefore, could have recognized him as a criminal, imprisoned him, and thus prevented him from committing his hideous crimes. There are two types of criminals, circumstantial and genetic. For the first category, there exists a possibility of a cure with treatment and the controlled medical conditions. It is science and not prison which can now help us solve these problems. This man was born a criminal and thus destined to a life of violent crime. He had no choice in the matter. Saint Augustine tells us that man does indeed have free will. So then, what you're saying, good sir, is that any sweaty, big-headed man is incapable of acting against it. You, sir, can perhaps help me with a little demonstration, if you will be kind enough to step forward. Your Honor, this is most irregular. Please. Now, we will show how a man can act against his own will. You are feeling very sad and anxious. Turn to us. You have been a great help. Thank you. This is the man you need, sir. and they mentioned four victims. Those were the four we couldn't hide. We don't want people to panic. I'm afraid there may be more out there. Why are you preserving the corpse? That's the reason you're here.
Teresa is attending her new school. And she's learning quickly. Your sister has found employment for you. I'll take you. That is, if you want to go. It's perfect. You must know a woman's shape pretty well. You are so beautiful. Mm. How many women have you been with? that you want to hear. This woman was about 15 years old. And judging by the poor state of her bones, I would say she suffered from a chronic calcium deficiency. Most of the parallel scratches were made by sharp canine claws, but by a wolf. There's no body fat in the buttocks or thighs, as if it had been extracted for some reason. Why would someone want human body fat? Soap. To make soap. The remains were left in the woods to make us believe it was the wolves who attacked the victims. We are certainly dealing with an extraordinary individual here. It would be most enlightening if we could capture him alive. If only we could get inside his mind, we could learn so much. If we could get inside his mind, my only concern, Professor, would be to find out where he is. Oh, I'm a man of science, not a murder investigator. To be quite frank, I'm rather surprised that someone like you who does not seem to support my theories, should ask for my collaboration. I need you to help us find him and convict him. I will help you to find him. And now, my young friend, I'm going to rest. And I suggest you do the same. Please, 
Help us, kind sir. I beg you. He's been cut by a sickle. <laughs> Put him in the wagon. I'll take him to the next village. Lost a lot of blood. You'll be dead before we get to the village. My wife. I can't die without saying goodbye to her. Then why don't we write her a letter? You can bid her farewell. Thank you, good sir. I can see you are a man of God. We don't have much time. What do you want me to say? To my beloved. Antonia, my precious daughter, Anna. I'm writing you this letter, which will be my last. At least I go to our Lord in the knowledge that I have indeed been a fortunate man, having been married to the most wonderful woman in the world. And I depart with a vision of your smiling face. And that image will be with me forever, wherever I am. I have requested that this fine gentleman who has shown me such friendship, in this, me such hour, friendship in this late hour, deliver this letter, deliver to, you this letter to you in person. in person. He has generously offered to look after any immediate needs you may have once I am gone. May God have mercy on my soul. To go away, sir. But I don't want to leave you here alone. Don't go then. Come with me. You can help me in my work. Really? show you places you've never dreamed of.
Silva. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to stay here with you. I want you to have this. It's very special to me. You saved me. I will never forget it. Now my life belongs to you. You need to rest. Try to sleep now.
safe. Follow me. Are you hungry? Don't come any closer. He's gone. And he's not coming back. We are rid of him. Who are you? What do you want from me? I want to protect you. Ordinary bullets can't harm me. Who are you? I'm a man who once looked into the eyes of the devil. Francisco? Taken me for my sins. From that day forward, I've been condemned to a living hell.
Roma Santa is not a man. He's a wolf. Who becomes human to seduce and murder his victims. Gods, take him away. Please, I beg you. Manuel forced me to do it. I'm not evil. I saved you. The man is insane. Been such a fool. You can't believe in the fantasies of that poor man. And I don't. But the truth is, my sisters are dead. As far as we know, your sisters are in Santander. He gave me this. He could be hiding anywhere. He knows everyone. The villagers trust him. He writes letters for them. Barbara, leave it in the hands of justice. I promise you, I will find him, and he will be punished for his crimes. Now, please go home. Carbaio, July the 13th, 1850. Dear Mother, you can't imagine how much I miss you and how sorry I am to inform you that you must cancel your visit. My patron has asked me to join her on her journey to the, the entire summer and a good part the of the autumn. This I hope the time will not be very long before we have the joy of seeing each other again after these three long years apart. Affectionately yours, Sarah. Afonso Grada. August the 6th, 1850. Dear husband and loving children, there is not a day that passes that I don't think of you. Life has thrown us apart and remains to do so. But don't allow this to sadden you or give up hope that one day we will be together again. I'm working very hard so that you may soon come and live with me here in Afonso Grada. And for this reason, there is no task too difficult or adverse. God bless you all, your loving mother. Dear brother, I am very pleased to announce that I will finally be married the pharmacist I saw about in my birthday for this reason. I wish you to entrust my remaining belongings to the kind gentleman who gave you this letter. With the Lord's blessing. We caught him with the soap to wash down the corpses. Where's the man who sold you this? I don't remember, sir. Very well. Imprison him. Just a moment, just a moment. It's coming back to me.
I'm looking for a man called Manuel Romasanta. Do you know him? Are you sure? He's tall and strong. Come with me. And I go and play outside. Who are you? What do you want? I'm looking for Manuel Romasanta. I don't know anyone by that name. He's a traveling salesman. You dictated this letter to him for your sister. I do remember a letter writer but I never knew his name. He was around here a few months ago. He came to deliver a letter from my husband. I dictated this one to him. Have you seen him since then? No, he only came the one time. Thank you. What has he done to make you come after him with a knife? I apologize for having disturbed you. sold it to me. Where can I find him? The girl has been here looking for you. She said your name is Manuel Roma Santa. What did you say? I told her that you didn't live here. What's going on? Is she your lover? Pack your things. Why did she have the letter to my sister? Pack your things, we're leaving. What's this all about? Who is this woman? Thank <laughs> you. 
Sir, we found them. They're in the stable. silver needles in his skin in order to persuade him that he is not cursed. This interruption could completely undermine all the progress we've been making here. What progress? He is gradually recovering his sanity. In the time you've been playing around with your needles here, three more people have been murdered. I'm sorry, Professor. We can't afford to lose any more time. Your anger won't help us find him. We need more time. Time. They say the wolf is just in my head. That my brain is tricking me. He's killing more and more people. I feel responsible. You can help me stop him. Please. I can't. You know Manuel better than anyone else. You are partners. Tell me where I can find him. Shh, leave me alone. What have you done to me? We'll meet again. I'm trying to free myself. Where would he go now? It's harvest time in the south. In Burgos. Men go there to work like slaves during the day, then huddle together like animals at night. Roma Santa despises them. He would go north and fuck their wives while they were alone in their houses. He's very good at it. You were the most beautiful. But he knows he must hide this time. He will try to do what we least expect him to do. I'm looking for a man that's tall, big build. Wears many rings on his fingers. Well spoken, no? Thank you.
Has a stranger come by looking for work? Well, yes, man, sir. The one I'm looking for is a strong man, strong build, tall. Wears many rings in his fingers. Very well, sir. Tribunal of Galicia, in the name of Her Majesty the Queen, charges the accused Manuel Blanco Roma Santa with the murders of Pascual Ferrero, declared missing on February the 19th, 1849, Peregrina Rodriguez, declared missing on April the 28th, 1847, Manuel Fernandez, declared missing on February the 6th, 1850. Maria Garcia and her daughter Teresa Losada both declared missing on September the 24th, 1850, and Antonia Trinidad and her daughter Ana Fernandez both declared missing on June the 21st, 1851. By Her Majesty's command, 
I hereby declare this preliminary hearing open, as requested by the defence. Professor Phillips, please proceed. We shall start with a mental analysis and then proceed to a biological one. You are accused of having murdered 15 people. Do you deny having done this? No, sir. I did indeed kill them, and many more besides. But I had no choice. It's well known where I come from, that the devil has a claim on the ninth-born son. And I was my father's ninth-born son. So then, you attribute a responsibility for your evil curse to your father? Evil. A wolf kills through instinct. It's in its nature. Do you feel any remorse for what you have done? I do now, sir. Where did you transform? In the woods. This is a terrible mistake you're making, Professor. There is no danger. He's under hypnosis. He's a crazed assassin. Not one of your laboratory animals. You are correct. He is not an animal. We are here to examine his reactions in a less threatening environment, away from the chains and armed guards who treat him like a beast. I am inclined to follow Professor Phillips' suggestion. Release the prisoner. Manuel, do you recognize this place? This is where I killed them. My senses were overwhelmed. I could hear the roots of trees growing deeper into the earth. was caught in a trap. I could smell the blood flowing beneath her skin. I heard Maria. I attacked Maria. I was devouring her flesh. I could hear her heart. Pumping inside my head! This so-called curse is nothing more than a severe mental disorder which, in, in modern medical terms, we refer to as lycanthropy. It is an uncontrollable impulse that transforms an ordinary man into a wild and dangerous animal. A lycanthrope, or wolfman, to call it by its more sensationalist, 
and populous name. Almost any strong emotional pressure will be sufficient to trigger the transformation in the patient, which would inevitably lead to murderous intentions. Your Honor, this is a complete farce! Allow the professor to continue, please. My conclusion is that Manuel Ramosanta was not responsible for his crimes. And he can be cured. But how can you say that? There's no rational basis for such a conclusion. Senor Romasanta, why should we believe that there exists the possibility that you might be cured of your curse? Uh, with Barbara, I felt human for the first time in my life. I experienced emotions, perhaps love. And so, for a few precious days, my curse left me, and I lived as a man. The fact that he did not kill or harm Barbara Garcia proves that... That he simply didn't have the time to do it! That he should not be imprisoned in conditions where he would deteriorate. We're in a court of law, not a circus, for Christ's sake! Be reasonable, Your Honor. The accused is not a wolfman, but a brutal assassin who meticulously planned and executed his crimes so that he could take the maximum profit from the victims. In the sanatorium, he will surely escape and kill again. Only imprisonment and execution will satisfy the demands of justice and ensure that he will never again be a danger to the community. In view of the exceptional circumstances surrounding this case, by request of Her Majesty, I hereby declare that in the trial of Manuel Blanco Roma Santa, pending further investigation, the sentence imposed on the accused is to be suspended. The prisoner will remain in custody until further pronouncement. My name is Manuel Blanco Roma Santa. I am popularly known as the Wolfman of Ayarith. Some say that I was a man who occasionally turned into a wolf. It would be truer to say I was a wolf who sometimes turned into a man. Many want to see me dead. Some out of desire for vengeance, others to rid themselves of their fears, and some of them through envy, because I dared to do what they never even dreamed of doing. I have been asked if ever I were to be released, whether or not I would kill again. I do believe that soon I will be free, and that it won't matter. I knew you'd come. But you don't want to kill me. You've already had the chance, and you couldn't do it. And you've come here to find out why. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. I've never wanted to hurt you.
You gave me my freedom. And I love you. And the reason you couldn't kill me is because you love me too. seems to be made of silver. We should interrogate the guard. There's no need. Then what should I write in the report? I command unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father, that the soul of this our brother be found. Commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Grant this, O merciful Father, for the sake of Jesus Christ, our only Saviour, Mediator, and Advocate. Amen. Amen. 